Hey guys, it's Stacey here with another video for you. This is going to be a very short video because I just wanted to come here and speak up about the Bluetooth issue that a lot of people have been reporting over the internet. There are a couple of videos on YouTube as well, especially dedicated for that issue. And we are talking about the Mac Mini M1 chip. As I mentioned, a lot of people have reported the issue over the internet and we don't don't know whether Apple has been listening, has been reading those comments, whether they are working on some resolution, but so far apparently they have not reacted to it. I've been using my Mac mini for over a week now and I have to admit that in the first few days everything was working perfectly, but now I've noticed a couple of times that my mouse sometimes lose connection and gets just frozen and also the keyboard lags a little bit when trying to type in on it and um, it's 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 been quite frustrating because this is a brand new computer and apparently uh, the problem had already been reported over the old mac mini because this is the first time I have a Mac mini, so I was not really aware of that, but right now I'm actually feeling, I am living the experience. And uh, it is quite frustrating because it is a brand new computer and I don't understand why Apple has not reacted to what people are saying over the internet. A lot of people are a little bit upset because we just spent money on this computer and although we want to be happy, I'm, I'm very glad with the computer because one of the first, main reasons that I decided to buy this computer is because of the new M1 chip that really is very fast. So the computer has a great performance apart from this Bluetooth. And as you know, nowadays, most of the things that we have connected to a computer is wireless. So I do have a wireless keyboard, wireless mouse, a wireless trackpad. And not to mention that you can also connect to like wireless speakers that use the Bluetooth and also wireless headphones. I have to say that I tried to connect a wireless speaker uh, to the computer. It was working fine. But the thing is what I, what I don't like about wireless speakers and headphones is that if you are listening to music or just watching a movie, it's fine. But if you are working on editing a movie that you have to go up and down, so sometimes you lose the connection and that is not nice. So I don't like to do that. I prefer to use a wired headphone when I'm editing my movies. But the main problem here is basically the mouse and the keyboard and the trackpad. What I've noticed though that has worked for me, and I don't know if that is the solution, the workaround, is that I've noticed that if I turn off the um, wireless internet option, it seems that the Bluetooth is not affected. So I don't know if the wireless internet is actually affecting uh, the Bluetooth connection, but I noticed that if I turn it off, everything works fine. I don't have that kind of problem. Not having to use Wi-Fi is not such a big deal in my case because I do have uh, an Ethernet cable connected to the computer because I want to have a steady connection. But for many people, Wi-Fi is really important. And if you have to turn that off in order for Bluetooth to work correctly, I don't think that is the right a solution for the case. But I have to say that personally, in my case, if I turn off the wireless connection, the Wi-Fi, then everything works normally. What I miss about Wi-Fi is that because I have a, an Apple Watch, so I can use my Apple Watch to unlock my computer and also to give other commands. And that depends on the Wi-Fi. So if the Wi-Fi is not on, then the Apple Watch will not work. So then you have to use to type in your password and whatever is necessary for you to get access to the computer. So this is basically what I need the Wi-Fi for. Right now I am keeping it off because I don't want to have to connect a wired keyboard because otherwise what is the point of having a wireless uh, keyboard? And I do love the wireless setup because I mean there are no cables so it is a clean setup. But anyway I wanted just to come up here and say that yes I am very happy with my computer. I'm very glad with the Mac mini M1 chip except for the Bluetooth issue. And I would love to know if any one of you 
watching this video, if you have the new Mac mini with the M1 chip, please let me know in the comments below if you are having the problem with the Bluetooth connection. Because I think that the more people speak up about the issue, the more chances are that Apple will react to it. And we do hope that the solution comes as soon as possible. So again, if you are having the same problem as I am and many other people are, please leave it in the comments below because we need to get ourselves heard. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Have a fabulous day.